Hey guys, Mitchell here, also known as Creation Catalyst. We're back here again. We're doing green cards today. I'm joined by uh, Ryan, low battery 68, and uh, I am knowledge and power. <laughs> it's Kevin again. It is Kevin again. God damn it. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the green cards from Journey into Nyx, and we're going to start it off right away with uh, Basaur Tower Archer. You love this card, don't you? I do love this card. It's two green, two one, creature, human, archer, hexproof, and reach. I love this card because it fits the two spot in my hexproof Naya deck. Uh, so. It has, oh, it has a word on there that says hexproof, so I think that's enough right there. Hex yeah, but if it's Naya hexproof, I mean, the double green, doesn't that extend your mana a little much there? What it, batteries? It would. You have no way to respond to this at all, do you? Mana confluence. Mana confluence. Yeah, it helps the deck out a lot. I was able to drop the Skylands because they slowed the deck down. Was able to increase the amount of Shocklands by one for both the Red White, which is uh, Sacred Foundry and Stomping Grounds Red Green, and mm. then add three mana Confluence, yeah, and it go. helps out a lot. Huh? Have you play tested it? Yeah, uh, not physically in person, but uh, through um, you know like online sites and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, they can't. No, my land base is really good now. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was able to uh, you know make it, and the fact that the red in it is only for Madcap skills in my sideboard. So. Your Boar's Charm. Hmm? Oh yeah, Boros Charms. Gore Clan Rampager? I... Gore Clan Rampager. It needs to be there. It, it, it needs to be there, but it's, you know. Uh, I think it's a fine card for um, Limited. We'll see some standard play. Yeah, well. Yeah. I mm -hmm. think Limited is awesome. Hex if you have Hexproof on a card, it, it's kind of, if it's a low drop Hexproof anyways. Oh, absolutely. You know, then it, it definitely is. And it has a second ability in reach. Yeah, yeah, so it's mm -hmm. even better on that aspect. It yeah, is. you don't need to attach a spider oh, to aspect. It. Aspect of Hydra goes towards the devotion. Count to that. Oh, it does. It goes to the... Yeah, good mm -hmm. good call. Good call. Yeah. Right. That's what I'm here for. Very standard playable. Uh, next card, Colossus Heroics. Uh, two and a green. Strive for one and a green. I like how it says Heroics on it. <laughs> <laughs> Any number of target creatures each get plus two, plus two until end of turn. Untap those creatures. Combat tricks. Limited... S yeah, so it starts out as a three mana Savage Surge and then turns into any number of Savage Surges. Oh, it's fine. Slightly better Savage. Or is Savage Surge plus two plus two? Plus two plus two. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, I mean, it's fine and limited. Mm, absolutely. Could possibly it's, see standard. It says heroics on it. <laughs> so you know what you're using it for. Yeah. yeah, I mean, they're very blunt about it in this case, so that's always oh. a good thing. Oh, yeah. Blunt. It's only like three days after National Weed Day. Blunt! <laughs> Next card. What? Consigned to dust. No, Two tell me. Tell me. What? I was using the term blunt to mean, like, head on, like, just a wide, you know. A <laughs> wide head. I, this is why I can't talk to you. This is, this is. <laughs> I that's... never said you did drugs. Next card. Consigned to dust. Two and a green. Instant. Strive for two and a green. Destroy any number of target artifacts and or enchantments. Uh, no. No? No. If it said split second on it. Oh my god. We can't just make take Magic these cards and make them like unbelievably good. Uh, okay, it's not fine even, sideboard. Yeah, I was gonna limited say. Limited sideboard, sideboard. Limited sideboard. Yeah. You still have DSI and Revoke. Yeah, that's true, yeah. that's true. They're better. Well, yeah, because they say exile, say exile and so yep. destroy. They deal with gods. Yep. Uh next card, Desecration Plague. Three and a green, sorcery, destroy target enchantment, or land. Four drop land destruction green no. often has. This is awful. I mean, green always has this sort of card. Any yeah. kind of land destruction they ever print anymore is just going to be awful. They yeah. don't want to make good land destruction, so... Because if you destroy land, you know, you deserve to be bitch slapped. Do, do, do not play this card. Well, you also deserve to be bitch slapped if you're not paying your pimp. Fair point, fair <laughs> point. Next card. All right. Uh, Dictate of Karametra, uh, three and two green enchantment, flash. Whenever a player taps a land for mana, that player adds one mana to his or her mana pool of any type that land produced. Absolutely not. Sweet EDH card. No. Because it gives your, mana, it gives your opponents the mana, too. Yeah, uh, yeah so no, there's plenty of cards that are already like that. Um, yeah. Rory's Wake, though, only gives you the double mana. Yeah, but you, and like, clicks. there are decks that use these kinds of things already. Yeah, yeah I, I, I don't think this... And the fact that it has Flash, it lets you get it first, which a yeah, lot of them don't. Yeah, it does let you get it first, but Morari's Wake allows you to be the only player that gets it, and Vorn Clicks allows you to get it and taps your opponent's land when they tap them. I, I, well, we're not saying there aren't other options. I'm I, just saying... I think this is fine for EDH, but I don't I don't think you really want to play it. It's not a super powerful card, no, but... No, because like, you don't want to for do a more, No, for a more casual commander deck, though, this is perfectly Oh, yeah, more casual, it's yeah. perfectly sweet for that. Like, yeah, I don't think he's played in anything else. No. Obviously not. In yeah. Limited, it's just bad, so... Yep. Yeah. Next card, uh, Eidolon of Blossoms, two and two green. 
Constellation, whenever Eidolon of Blossoms or another enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, draw a card. 2-2, two, two, Spirit. Very good card. Fantastic. I love this card. It's very good. I don't have a strong opinion on it. That's honest. Fits in the nine. Spirit deck again. Uh, At the top, so. top of the curve as so. a two of I have. Eh. And Tell that, us how that goes. Yeah, hmm? I will. Please, please let me know how I that will. turns out. I think Gorkline Rampager is more where you want to be than this. Oh, Gorkline's in there too. Oh. I mean, but I mean, realistically, the curve is about two total, and that's with this. And Gorkline is a two drop. Yeah, most yeah. of the time. Gorkline, no, yeah. it is a two drop. It is nothing else. I mean, if you're really desperate, you'll hard cast it. Really desperate. Uh, so other than that, what? I, I just think this card could see standard point. More in a green or mid range, probably. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Shows you cards. Um, I think somebody somebody will try to build this around like a type of Mazes End enchantment style deck with like Sphere of Safety and Detention Spheres and um, Banishing Light, stuff like that. You and, think it'll um, get there though? Yep, it could. It could? It, it could, just in the simple fact that you have like some fog effects, you have um, Sphere of Safety, which is really good enchantment, um, right. Banishing Light, Detention Sphere... Um, Verdant Haven, which allows your lands to tap for two colors, right. get it, gain two life. Every time, if you have this out, every time you're casting an enchantment, you're drawing a card. Yeah, yeah. Very good. And draw a card is what the three best words in Magic. Yeah. Next. Oh, uh, yeah, basically. Win the game. Yeah. <laughs> next to win the game. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Next card, uh, Font of Fertility. One green enchantment. One and a green sacrifice. Font of Fertility. Search your library for a basic land card. Put it onto the battlefield. Tap. Then shuffle your library. The art is very nice. Art, oh, yeah, it's it looks really cool. I think you can actually play this in um, limited. It it helps in limited. It, it helps you play more. Than, it helps you play um, two, three colors efficiently. Yeah. It also yeah. allows you to get your second color um, rather nicely. Um, mm -hmm. It's 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 playable because it's a one drop. It's a one drop, and then you play it next turn. If you, it, it helps you ramp. Yeah. It helps you, you, ramp. you don't want to play it in anything else, though. I mean, like no, no, no. You want to play it in like a green style ramp deck. Yeah, it's fun. Limited. Yeah. All right. Uh, uh, hey, look. Speaking of. Uh, the next card, Golden Hind, uh, one and a green, Creature Elk, 2-1, tap, add green to your mana pool. One green to um, That's That's a card. It It's okay. Like, if it was a one drop, tap, add green, so much better, but as a yeah. two drop, I, I, you, you still can play it in a green style ramp deck unlimited. I, I don't think it's using standard play as a two drop. Though. No. Yeah, it's no. just an it's just another card like Cure's Follower or Voyaging Seder that you use in a ramp deck to get this, to like. I think Cure's Follower Bell's actually sees standard play though. This does not see I mean, standard I'm, because Sylvan Carriage exists. Yeah, that, and Elvish Mystic. And Elvish Mystic. Well, I'm saying in the two drop spot for mana. You know, yeah. Sylvan Carriage taps for any mana and it's hexproof. I'm speaking though from a strictly limited point of view, like. This is just another card that you Some can... Some card is limited. Yeah, but that's a rare. This is a common. Yeah. That's also true. But um, I, I don't care for this card too it's much. It's not too good. Uh, next card, Golden Hide Ox. Uh, five and a green. Enchantment creature Ox. Five, four. Constellation. Whenever Golden Hide Ox or another enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, target creature must be blocked this turn of Fable. It's a green big guy. Yeah. It's um six drop bomb and limited. Yep. I mean, if nothing else, he's fine, and it causes all of one creatures to be blocked. You know. Yeah, uh, he he's fine. Um, if you're in green, you can run him. I mean, limited only. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, that's about it. Limited only. Yeah. Next card. Next card. Uh, Heroes Bane, three and two green, <coughs> creature Hydra. Uh, it's a zero zero, but it enters the battlefield with four plus one plus one counters on it. And two and two green activated ability put X plus one plus one counters on Hero's Bane where X is its power. Limited. Limited, yeah. It's also the uh, green um, promo card, I believe, right? I believe so. And, yeah. uh, you know, a lot of people are comparing it to <coughs> Colonian Hydra because it's the same mana cost. It comes in with the same amount of counters and it doubles its power. Um, the difference is that Colonian, for one, has trample and it happens every time Colonial Hydra attacks. This one's activated. I would actually compare this more to the Green Hydra from M13. Um, what's it called? The, I have no idea. The one at the beginning of your upkeep, it doubles the counters, and if it has 10 or more, it gets trampled. Oh, okay. I uh, can't remember the name, but I know what you're I would compare about. it more to this. And the simple fact, like, you're paying mana, and it doesn't eventually get trampled, but in the fact that you're doubling the counters right. every turn. Because if you... If you Turn five, play this with four counters. Next turn, you're doubling counters up to eight. Yeah. Next turn, you're doubling counters up to sixteen. Yeah. At that point, you're just 
pumping everything into this card to win. Because there's really no ways to remove this in the limited environment. Not in limited, no, no. In limited, they this would is, uh, They would need, like, Sip Heroes of Downfall. Headlock or Heroes Downfall. Yeah. And... Well, limited playable only. Yeah, yeah. Past that, um... No. Be because it doesn't have Trample. It, right. If it had Trample, I'd say, you know what, there's a possibility <coughs> to take the place of Colonial Hydra when that rotates out, but... Right. I don't think... No, no Trample, it's not good enough for that. Uh, next card, Humbler of Mortals. Uh, four and two green... Enchantment creature element, 5-5, five, five, Constellation. Whenever Humbler of Mortals or another enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, creatures you control gain trample until end of turn. That's perfectly fine for All limited. creatures. So that's, yeah. Perfectly fine for limited. It's fine for limited, yeah, absolutely. What he said. It's big, gives things trample. Six drop, 5-5, five, five, and that's it has trample. It gives enemies. all your Hydras that don't have trample, trample. That's, there oh, you go. Wow. Turn 5 Heroes Bane, turn 6 this card. <laughs> there you go. No, Primordial Hydra. Primordial, okay. Primordial Hydra. Primordial Hydra is the one we were talking about previously. Yeah. Right. Um, anything on Humbler Immortals? Like, uh, I, I, I think it's, it's a 5-5 five, five for 6 that gives stuff trample. It's absolutely fine. For okay. limited. limited. Just for limited. Limited. Um, next card, Hydra Broodmaster. 4 and 2 green. Uh, creature Hydra. So many Hydras. 7-7. Uh, seven, seven, Monstrosity XX green. You mean so many Hydras. That's 2. We were talking about Hydras mm. for like the past... Ten minutes. Oh, ago. I thought you meant this seven. No, no, I'm just saying Ooh. we've been it's back to back hydras. Like, okay. It's crazy. Um, monstrosity XX green, Monstrosity X. Uh, whenever when Hydra Brewmaster becomes monstrous, put X XX green Hydra creature tokens onto the battlefield. Uh, limited bomb. Limited yep. craziness. Yeah. I mean, because <coughs> if you just look at it from the vanilla test, it's a seven seven for six already. Yeah. Yeah. So. Exactly. Um, I don't think it's a standard play because it's too slow. Way too slow. It yeah. still doesn't. It, it, it even doesn't. It have dies. The, it doesn't have the the. Uh, it doesn't have trample. So no. It doesn't even. Do well, any of the hydras have trample? No, Pelucranos doesn't have trample either. But Pelucranos yeah. warp wipes their board for the. Pelucranos most part. wants to board. It, it has. Yeah. It has a form of removal. It's cheaper and. Yeah. The, this, right, right. this is limited bomb. Yeah. I could see somebody playing in like a EDH. Style EDH deck, token though. style deck. Yeah. Why not? Mono green on math. Yeah. Azusa. Yeah. Any sort of mono green deck. Um, red green deck alongside Xenagos God of Rebels is their commander. Uh, it's fine. All right. Uh, next card. Crewfix Insight. Two and a green. Sorcery speed. Uh, reveal the top six cards of your library. Put up to three enchantment cards from among them into your hand and the rest of the ca revealed cards into your graveyard. Um, that wording is a little awkward. I could see this in standard in that green black dredge deck. The dredge, yeah. It's perfectly yeah. fine in that. Um, I could also see this in EDH. In a green style deck. Yeah, if the well, not not mono green, but like a bant or any or, just or a like a rug like deck. A green, green black, and, green that, black, red. Yeah, sort of any deck that runs enchantments in EDH, yeah. I could see you playing this card. Or just as like something to <coughs> dump cards in your graveyard if that matters. Oh, too. absolutely. What yeah. about uh, limited at all? No, 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 no. I could um, going back on the Golgari uh, dredge sort of deck that is in standard now. It, it's I, I think it's perfectly fine because what two is commune with the gods and say to Wifinder and this is the three drop that fills right. that place. So right. you know, it goes perfectly into it. Does that deck have any enchantments that you can actually get off of this into your Um hand? yeah, Whip of Erebos, um commune Night Howler. Um, yeah, yeah. Um Tormented Hero. Not Tormented Hero, um The Oh Torment uh, uh Herald of Torment. Yeah. Herald of Torment. Yeah. Herald of Torment. Yeah. It gets Herald of Torment, it it gets it's all those. Potentially, okay, so yeah. people are talking about Farika, but I don't know about that. I, I I could see it as a tool. I but that's another one that it would be able to get to is yeah. Farika. So there's that. It gets it gets plenty in the deck. Yep, yep. And it adds more fuel to the fire too. So there's that. Yeah. Uh, next card, Market Festival, three in a green, Enchantment Aura, Enchant Land. Whenever Enchanted Land is tapped for mana, its controller adds two mana in any combination of colors to his or her mana pool. Um, as I was saying previously, like that. Enchantment style, Mazes End, Fog style mm -hmm. deck, I could see this going into that. Alongside oh, yeah. the Eidolon of Blossoms. Fixes out the mana pretty perfectly. Yep. I mean, because if you're running three colors, it gives one of each right then and there, you know? Yeah. Um, I I don't... I, You can play it in a green style ramp deck in mm -hmm. Limited, but uh, I, I don't... I think green has enough ramp, personally. Like, I, I mean, I still more ramp's this, good. I still don't think this is... Like, if you get the Eidolon and you get this, play it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's fine. Because if nothing else, you're helping fix your uh, mana. Yep. At the very it's worst. It's not bad. And you're getting to draw a card off of it. Yeah. 
Well, you don't draw a card off of this. Well, not off this. I'm oh, saying if you, if you have the other oh, yeah. one, too. Yeah. But I, I really don't, like, I don't think it's the standard play, unfortunately, though, unless somebody does, like, a Maze of Zen style deck. Would you run this and Verdant Haven or one of the other? Absolutely. I'd run both. Because Verdant Haven adds an additional, this adds two more. And Verdant Haven's three, this is four. I think it's absolutely fine. All right. And Verdant Haven also, what, when it enters, you gain two, two life. life? Yep. I think you'd do Verdant Haven as a three of, and this is a two of. Yeah, and then you fix your mana perfectly. And I you think. do, you run, like, four Eidolon of Blossoms. Um, so. and, and what is this for, just... Um, it's a, like a Mazes End okay, uh, okay. Fog style deck with like Sphere of Resistance. So um, a standard Mazes End. Yeah, and it, it's okay. based around enchantments with Sphere of Safety, All so right. they can't attack you. Yeah, that's, I think that would be perfectly fine. Fix your mana, draw yeah. cards with the Eidolon on the field, mm-hmm. and you know all that good stuff. You're gonna have you should your... brew that. Yeah. <laughs> Next card, uh, Nature's Panoply. Panoply? I don't... Panoply. Panoply. Uh, one green, instant. Strive for two and a green. Uh, choose any number of target creatures. Put a 1-1 one, one counter on each of them. There's just so many combat tricks with Strive, and I'm getting tired of talking about them. I am, too. It's they're getting... all, they're These all are samples. all... They're all playable and limited. They are all... Yeah. Well, most for the most part. For yeah. the most part, they're playable and limited. I feel for the most part, though, you're using them as, like, their one mana cost thing. And, and you're not... Only, only if it's, like, the late-game finisher sort of thing. Yeah, game. and only in the late-game finisher are you actually doing it for Strive. All right. I'm uh, just tired of talking about no, this. No, yeah, completely fine. Really the strive mechanic, you know, it's Very combat good. tricks. It's all the same. Yeah. Uh, next card, Nessian Game Warden. Three and two green, four, five, creature beast. When Nessian Game Warden enters the battlefield, look at the top X cards of your library, where X is the number of forests you control. You may, you may reveal a creature card from among them and put it into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. I don't think this card is as playable as the other ones that have the X ability to your forests. Because it puts it in your hand, um, it in essence draws you a card in green, which is fine. But if it said like put it on the battlefield or and made it like six mana, it would be so much better. I, I, three and three green, four. Yeah, five. It, I, I mean it's fine for what it does, but I I think there's still better things you can be doing. What if it said um devotion and st- well that would be a lot more than I guess, huh? That would yeah. be stupid. And that would have to be rare or mythic at that point. Right. Um, it's fine. It's still playable and limited, but I. I think I it's mean, one of the limited. Weak- it's a four, st- five, for five. Yeah, I still think it's one of the weaker of the X ability to your um, devotion. Air quotes to your um, board state. No, to your land. basic land. Yeah. Land. Oh, not land. even basic lands. Just force. Oh yeah. You know so I mean? like, it's not going to be relevant and limited. No. All right. Uh, next card: Oak Heart Dryads, two and a green enchantment creature, Nymph Dryad, two three. Constellation, whenever Oakheart Dryads or another enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, target creature gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. I mean, it's a two, three for three. It's fine. Yeah. Or if you don't have any other creatures, it's a three, four for three. And that's really bad. For that turn. For that turn, yeah. Slight buffs all around, yay. Yeah, it's... Uh, it's flash it's, it in and block. It doesn't have flash. Yeah, no. Okay. Is there nothing that... There's nothing that gives flash. No. Except for uh, Prophet, Savage, Prophet of Crufix. Savage Summoning. Prophet of Crufix. Savage Summoning was M14. I'm saying you can... No, in Limited. Oh, in Limited? Not limited. Yeah. This card is not standard player. I know! <laughs> Apparently not. I'm just saying if we had all of the standard cards... <laughs> oh, yeah, let's just throw everything in that gives in creatures uh, flash. Uh, Alchemist Refuge, too. Let's throw that in here. All right, Where's next card. Dalkinori. Next card. Ferris. Ferris Fan Thunderhoof. Four. Azer Vile. Four and a green creature, centaur warrior. Three, four. Heroic. Whenever you cast a spell that targets fairy span thunderhoof, put two plus one plus one counters on fairy span thunderhoof. It's fine for limited. Yeah, it's fine. It's got a, it's got the typical green uh, two counters instead of counter one. heroic. Yeah, it's fine. I think so. Yeah, yep. limited green good heroic stuff. Yep. Uh, next card, fairy span war chief. Three and a green creature, centaur warrior, three, three, vigilant trample. Other centaur creatures you control get plus one, plus one, and have vigilance and trample. It's still fine for limited. It's a three, three vigilant trample for four. Um, and if you have people, have... people will try to do like a centaur tribal type limited thing around it. People will try to do a centaur tribal thing in standard around it. Like I mean, they did like the minotaurs, but it won't work. The uh, the green faded card, I mean, it's already good by itself. Yeah. If you happen to have this, it makes it a little bit better. They make. Oh, absolutely. I mean, like, 
I mean, I, I think um, in terms of what you were talking about, making the tribal sort mm-hmm. of deck, um, it's one of the better lords compared to the cent- or compared to the minotaurs. I think the uh, centaurs have. I think this one's better than what they had personally. Just oh, probably because it gives them trample and vigilance. So and yeah. other ones get plus one, plus one. Yeah. Yep. So it's it's fun. You know. All right. Uh, next card, Ravnus, Luo Krakota. Uh, three and a green creature beast. Two four vigilance. Uh, six and a green monstrosity three. Um, I would like this card if its creature type was Lucrota. Lucrocrota. Lucrocrota? Yeah. If that was the creature type, I'd love this card. But it's not, so I, I don't like it. So that's the one thing that's holding it back from being, like, in all of your decks. Oh, yeah. Yep. That's that's definitely what's keeping it from being Not in the my... fact that it's, like, bad. That's definitely what's keeping it this out of This card his... is amazing. What are you talking about? Explain how it's amazing. Go ahead. It's got Vigilance. You can, oh! You can rip it in half. Yeah, there you go. Combat tricks. <laughs> you can give someone a pretty nasty paper cut. You can... Oh! It's like Meg's Nails in that one Family Guy superhero episode. It's a nuisance, <laughs> but it really doesn't do anything. Next card. You can Dread Return it in Mantalus Dredge. Don't you want to do your Golgari Grateful? Shh! Ne- next, <laughs> next card. <laughs> next card. That, that card's bad. Don't, it's don't really take that bad. card. Don't take that card. Uh, next card. Look how retarded it looks. Renowned Weaver. One green... Creature, human, shaman, 1-1. One, 1 in one. One a green, sacrifice, renowned weaver. Put a 1-3 green spider enchantment creature token with reach onto the battlefield. I, it's fine for limited. I wanted to have death touch. Yeah. If the spider had death touch, it'd be better. It'd be a lot better. But as a 1-drop in green, people will play it. Mm-hmm. It creates a 1-3, uh, which yeah. blocks efficiently. Uh, next card, reviving melody. Uh, 2 in a green, sorcery. Choose one or both. Return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. And or return target enchantment card from your graveyard to your hand. If it said Battlefield, it'd be better. Yep. Um, <laughs> I think the Dredge deck could actually play this. Yeah. I mean, yep. it's, it's, a one it's up. possible. I don't, I don't, you might play it in Limited, but I don't see it. Actually, the Dredge deck is a possibility in Limited, so. No, like, the, the green, one of the green black decks that people draft does put a lot of cards in their graveyard, yeah. so. I mean. Um, I think this could see a uh, potential EDH commander play. Because for three mana, you can return a creature and return an enchantment. Yeah, that seems like yeah. perfectly yeah. good value. it's fine. Alright, uh, next card. Seder Grove Dancer, 1 and a green. Creature, Seder Shaman, 1-1. One, one. When Seder Grove Dancer enters the battlefield, put a 1-1 one, one counter on target creature. Um, card's fine and limited. Yeah. It actually could also see standard play in like a green, red, aggro style deck with Burning Tree Emissary, because you could Burning Tree Emissary into this, and when your Burning Tree Emissary is a 3-3, three, three, and this is a 1-1. One, one. Yeah, yeah. Or a Burning Tree into this, and you have two two twos. I mean, it's fine. If, if nothing else, I mean that's exactly it. You yeah. Well, turn, he becomes a two two or, for two. Or you turn one like um, Rakdos Cackler, turn two Burning Tree into this, and then you have a three three that can attack him, and you have a two two and a one one. Yeah. I mean it, it's fine. It's versatile. And limited, we've agreed that it's perfectly fine too. Yeah, it's perfectly I mean, fine. Limited. For limited, even into an empty board state, it's better. It's yeah, a two two. It's you and late, and late game, you buff something off of. Mm-hmm. Yep, it's fine. All right. Uh, next card: Setus and Tactics. One in a green instant. Strive for one until end of turn. Any number of target creatures each get plus one plus one and gain tap. This creature fights another target creature. It's st- it strives for green. Oh, strives for green. Did I say just one? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Strives for green. Um, this is probably one of my favorite cards in it's, green. It's good. It's really good. It, uh, it is really good. All of your green hero creatures are like Centaur Battlemaster. They're adding multiple counters at the same time. Um, yeah. I think this card is perfectly playable and limited. I think it could see standard play. But not not main deck. Like sideboard deck and green decks to show up the creature matchup. I like how this is um, Domri's uh, first minus ability. Uh, the whole fight aspect. If you yeah. need to clear that board. this And this does it on a massive scale. Yep. So it really helps fight, out. Fight, fight, yep. fight. It's, it's, it's essentially a green board and it's an wipe. Insta- oh, it's an instant, yeah. so I like that too. It's a yep. green board yep. wipe that triggers heroics. Yep, it's perfectly fine. Uh, next card. Solidarity of Heroes, one and a green, instant, strive for one and a green. Choose any number of target creatures. Double the number of 1-1 one, one counters on each of them. Fine and limited. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Good and limited. It's good with the... I think it's Ferris Band Raider. The 3-3 three, three for 4 uh, Centaur, when it untaps, it gets a counter on it. Yeah. It's good along this guy, because that guy's a house and limited. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think this is perfectly fine. This fits with, with any of the green any things, of, because yeah. even if they're if the, even if you haven't targeted them yet, this targets them, the heroic trigger goes, goes off, on, and you then get you can... six counters for a Centaur yeah. Battlemaster. Like, oh, this is very good. Fine. Yep. Very good. 
Uh, next card, Spire Spine. Uh, two and a green. Enchantment Creature Beast, 4-1. Uh, Bestow for four and a green. Spire Spine blocks each turn of Fable. Enchanted Creature gets plus four, plus one, and blocks each turn of Fable. This card is very good in Illuminate. It may not seem like it because it's a 4-1, but it's a 4-1 for three, which is fine. You're yeah. not going to le be leaving out back to block. And even if, like, I don't think you actually play it for three. What you do is you keep wait until you have five and bestow it onto something that can attack that turn. So then you don't have the potential for them to just put, like, attack in with their 1-1 one, one and you have to block. Right. I think what you want to do is hold up until later game, bestow it onto a creature that has some sort of evasion, trample... Something Anything like that. You, you put it on there, it's just a house-like game. Oh, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I mean... It's good in a blue-green style deck with flyers. It, it's amazing. And the fact that it gives it plus four to the uh, power, it really helps because a lot of things that we've already discussed have that toughness of four, you yeah. know, and they just it's barely evade out of that right. burn. So it's this very finishes good. it. Uh, Mitch? I like it. <laughs> it's okay. The art's cool. It's like a porcupine. It oh, is. Yeah, I like it. All sorts of things. It's going a giant on. porcupine attacking humans. It's like green and purple. It's like it's Nick. What, what's it's that like all? So in the, what, what's that in like in the background? In the people? top right corner. Top right corner. It looks like um, clouds. No, it looks it, like trees like, turned sideways. It looks like somebody did a whole lot of acid and then drew this picture. I like how there's like <laughs> bones and skulls. It, in it the does. Bottom left. It looks like somebody did a whole bunch of acid and drew this because it's just like purple and green and like blue. And I don't recognize the artist, so I don't know. There's a lot of skulls in the bottom left of that picture, though. It so. is it is very fucked up. <laughs> Next card. Strength from the Fallen. One and a green enchantment. Constellation. Target creature gets plus X plus X until end of turn, where X is the number of creature cards in your graveyard. Um, It's fine if you're doing the black-green deck in uh, limited. limited. Yep. Yeah. I like the fact that this is just, like, I, I think it's something cool they did with the Constellation, where it's just the enchantment. It doesn't do anything except for Constellation. I don't know. It's just... Yeah, it's cool. It's unique. It is. I like it. I like, I like how, it for limited. Um, it's a, it's a, it can be, it can turn into an every turn pump spell. Yeah, Talking it can turn into it, multiple with um the green black again. Uh, with Farika, you make a one one snake that triggers this. Yep. One of your creatures gets crazy buff. Absolutely. You know, I mean, it'll get less each turn, obviously, but you're playing dredge, hoping to fill your graveyard yeah, more. Yeah, it's fine. So. Yeah. Uh, next card, Swarmborn Giant, two and two green creature, giant six six. Whenever. When you're dealt combat damage, sacrifice Swarmborn Giant. Four and two green, Monstrosity two. As long as Swarmborn Giant is monstrous, it has reach. Great limited bomb. Yeah. 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 Yep. You Do know. not play it in standard. No. no. Nope. Too easy to get rid of in standard. Oh, absolutely. Uh, limited, though, that's a four drop six six. That's already good enough. Absolutely. And then it, it gets the reach only, later. The, the only way you're screwed over in playing this is if you're playing against a blue deck that has, like, cheap flyers. Yeah, something something like that. Yep, it's fun. And uh, that was the last card too. Yeah, yeah. so that wow, well, that one quick that does yeah, it for the green. Well, cards. hold on. Uh, What's your favorite card? I don't want no blossoms. Mitchell, I don't know. Strength from the fallen or set of some tactics. Okay, okay. Uh, I agree with both set of some tactics and I don't want of blossoms, but because it fits my standard deck, I'm gonna say Basara Tower Archer, the two drop hexproof guy. Go ahead. It's awesome. <laughs> sure it is. It's fantastic. Yeah. I'm Kevin. I'm Ryan. Mitchell. Oh, see you guys tomorrow. Yep. yep. Bye. Oh, wait, no, not tomorrow. Later today. Well, it's later oh. today for us. It's tomorrow for them. No, 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 this, no, this has later to come out on the same. Oh, oh, yeah, never mind. Is, we'll see you later. We'll see you in like we'll see you 30 in like minutes. Three hours? Three hours? Okay. Three hours? Three hours. Three hours. We, won't, Bye, we won't see you and you won't see us. You just hear our voices. Or, yeah. Yeah. Three hours. Promise. We may not be people. We might be computers controlled by people. You don't know. In tone inflection, we're really good at it. Yes, we are very good. Advanced programming. It's fucking like we work at Google. It's like this was almost a good outro too. Like it was almost like concise and everything. It's like Skrillex back here doing dubstep, but with people. Three hours, I promise. Don't make promises you can't keep. Twelve and three. This comes up at twelve. Next one comes up at three. Ah. And then I change it to be three fifteen, and I'll cry. <laughs> All right, see you. Hold him for that. <laughs>